Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mr. Sun, the City Rambles. And we are doing Legends of Tomorrow uh, season, season 3 or 4, and I kind of forgot. Uh, anyway, it's episode 5, and it's Return of the Mac. So we start off with uh, Rip is investigating a dead body, and he thinks it's a vampire. And then we cut to the people in the Wave Rider, where Ray and Jax are finding a way to break up Firestorm. And it works, but there are going to be some side effects. And then Sari has questions about time travel and why she can't go and save her brother. And so she kind of gets schooled on what's happening with that and all this other stuff. Sorry about that. And then we have Nate is hyper as F because he had too much coffee and it's just um, really been diving into anachronisms and they actually form a pattern. And the vampire is one of them, so they, it's in 1895, it's one of the outliers. So they go to that time period and then talk to a mortician. And that turns out had a 2016. Um, <laughs> Palmer watch. <laughs> so, uh, so they get the information and they go to a graveyard. Turns out Rip is in the grave and uh, got kind of got knocked down, got put in there, and needs their help. And then Jazz can't remember anything right now. He's kind of being the ditz, and he's like, "What's Rip doing here?" And so Ray kind of uh, gets him away from that. It's like, look, "Look, let's just do a whole thing. Let's just go." Then Stein talks to them, and then um, his daughter calls him and says that she needs his help to put her son down. So he sings her, sings him a lullaby. Then Zari talks to Amaya, and then their totems start reacting to each other. And then Brute tells him about, is it either Malice or Malik or Moloch? I'm, uh, I got confused. <laughs> anyway, so um, then um, they decided to use Nate as bait. And then Stein uh, got Nate cash from Nate. And this is a weird cult mess. Basically, they're trying to re re resurrect somebody to have power and stuff. So, yeah. And then we have... Uh, so Ray runs Prince on the watch, and turns out one of Prince belongs to Oliver, so they first think that he's actually the vampire. And then um, they cut to the cult meeting where basically Eleanor is someone that is in tune with the spirit world and stuff, and basically talks to her when it singles out uh, Zari. And it turns out she's kind of legit and everything, so that's kind of creepy. <laughs> and then Curtis talks to Ray, and it turns out the vamp is Damien Dark. What? And then uh, we have Mick start some um, fight within the the cult room, fighting everybody while uh, the rest of the legends, then Rip and Sarah. Argue over Dark, and then Rip sides with Sarah to try to kill him before he comes back to life. Then Amaya and Zari talk again, and then Jack starts to miss the um, second connection, and Stein overheard it and busts them, and he gets very furious about it and leaves. And then Rip uh, puts the ship on lockdown so he can go after Dark and then, well, not really dark, go after Moloch or whoever. <laughs> and then, uh, they, then Zarya goes to talk to um, Eleanor again and gives her the locket. So, because Eleanor said, I need something to tap into to connect with your brother. And it turns out she is with the bad guys. And then the time period goes to the location, and then most revives dark. Then Sarah, um, then Sarah fires on themselves into the cargo base so they can't escape. Then Rip stops time, and then um, tries to help everyone out, but it doesn't really go well. Then Zari got the totem back, by basically by summoning it, which is actually kind of cool. 
And then Dark and Girl escape. And by the way, Dark was like being a super badass. I mean, like, it was just very impressive. To, like, he already has his powers back and stuff. And it's like flicking people off left and right and kicking them and not even touching them. So that's actually kind of neat. Then Jax and Stein talk again. And then Amaya and Sorry talk. Then Sarah and Rip argue. And basically, uh, Sarah got Rip arrested. And went by the time bureau and basically um, basically did a, like a deal like if we hand you over rip you can you can let us go so they're free to do whatever they want and then rip warns them as he's getting carted away and that's the end of the episode that was the end of the episode so it was actually a really good very interesting episode I'll give this an a plus it was really good I really liked it I feel like they are definitely a lot better than they were in season one. Wow, about that one. Anyway, it was really good. I really enjoyed it. It was great action scenes and just great um, character developments. You get to learn more about everybody, so I really enjoyed that. So, uh, that's where I'm going to leave this video. So, if you like this video, please go to like, comment down below on what you think, and then subscribe because I know you really want to. I know you do. Anyway, um, I'll see you on the next video, and hopefully this is the last video with me sitting like this. <laughs> I hope. No, anyway, I have one more. And then I should be done with that. Anyway, I'll see you next video. Bye, everybody. Oh, and have an awesome night. Bye.